As part of our cultural control work here at Stolonga, we've been investigating the wheat varieties and their competitiveness against blackgrass since 2004. It was a very small experiment to start with, but now you can see it's expanded to some 80 varieties, some which you would know, and some which have not yet even come to market. But it's incredibly important that you know which varieties to grow in a black grass situation. This is then linked back into our, our Master Seeds brand, and we can give you the very best advice and uh, offer that through our agri-agronomists. So let's now take a look at the data and the options available going forward on seed rate and variety selection. This first piece of work started back in 2006 and here we're actually looking at Heriwood and Robigus at two or three different seed rates. So over the years what we were looking for is here totally untreated, just looking at the variety in a black grass situation and looking at the seed rates. We've noticed over the years that Heriwood, for example, at 175 seeds uh, yields far less than at 350 because of the amount of black grass and Robigus at 175 is even better than Heriwood at 175. But finally, Robigus at 350 seeds is out yielding both varieties at the seed rates because of the reduction in black grass. So this is a genuine reduction in black grass through the competitiveness of the variety itself seed rate playing an important part of this as well. This graph actually summarises all this data over the last six years and shows the value of Robigus over Heriwood and the competitiveness of varieties. Here the higher seed rate using the right variety has delivered an extra 2.3 tonnes a hectare of yield and has reduced the black grass burden by 44%. The rest of the trial is designed in paired plots, one side untreated, the other side treated with a, a robust herbicide program. Also at the same seed rate, the idea here now is to compare varieties and their competitiveness between these plots. So all the plots are looked at for black grass numbers, taken to yield, they're replicated three times so we can have a good scientific judgement on how competitive they've been. So featured is Edgar here, which is one of the most competitive varieties we've had in this trial work, alongside Dickens, and Dickens is an agri variety, new feed wheat into the marketplace, also very competitive. The whole trial consists of many varieties that are up and coming, and all our agri agronomists have a blue chart which actually demonstrates the value on your farm of these varieties coming through the system. So the trial has traditionally looked at winter wheats drilled in the winter. Now we're actually looking at some spring wheat varieties drilled into late autumn, mainly because of the work that's been driven out of the cultivation work here at Stolonga, where in fact later drilling has meant that perhaps variety choice even moves into spring wheats in that later autumn slot. The advantage for some of the spring wheat varieties is certainly their speed of development, which is very quick in the autumn, but also then moves very quickly in the spring. This is a great attribute for uh, contributing towards black grass control. Many spring varieties typify that, but of course there are some winter wheat varieties that are able to be drilled through into the spring themselves. And notably Zy19, an older wheat variety, but certainly very capable of yielding well right through into the spring drilling and uh, here has been successful, even drilled to the 1st of April. The summary of the results then for the spring weeks drilled from the middle of November in the trial this year was actually performed very well, and certainly as well as many, many winter weed varieties. So showing their flexibility right through from technically the end of October, all the way through to the spring, and they will be reliable and robust right across this position. So looking at the regional data that we have, which is across the country now, we've been able to better identify varieties and their suitability, not only just for a, a particular region in the country, but marketing and quality traits and their levels of disease. We're able then to complement the HCCA list with a, a lot more data behind it, uh, particularly on a regional soil type or indeed black grass situation. So please do use the uh, information that we have on a new agri list and uh, is there to discuss with your agronomist.